Is it your salad? You can take both your cuts together. We have 24 FTAs and EPAs with 36 partners, including the recent EUS FTA. So many businesses, unfortunately, are unaware what advantages these agreements bring to their businesses, especially those uh, smaller local enterprises. FTA is an effective platform to encourage, encourage internationalization of companies. However, it is unclear if many companies are tapping on it. FTA should also enable efficient flow of trade volumes through technology and connectivity. There is also a need to review FTAs which, are, which may not be meeting the original objective or did not impact the trade flows or bilateral trades of the two countries or the region. It is also important to develop such relationship and build up new FTAs with emerging markets and countries. However, we shouldn't jump ahead of the capacities of our local companies when building up or developing these FTAs because it may lead them to disappointment and worse, great losses to the company. Does the Ministry have any quantifiable indicators that measure the impact of these different FTAs? Example, number of companies benefiting from it and what can be done to connect our local companies to these platforms that the FTAs can potentially help them. With the rollout of ITMs for 23 sectors, the focus has been strengthening companies by transforming them. Transformation also meant change in process, change in business models, and change in their business strategies. This will certainly impact employees of all levels within the company that are undergoing transformation or the change. There will be resistance to the change and ITM, ITM may not reach the level of success that would make a difference or what is expected. I believe there are three aspects of transformation, transformation that impact the workers directly. First, the job redesign, change in the process, change in the scope of the job. Second, job shift. The job itself no longer, no longer available, they have to change sectors. Changing sectors and also requires a mindset shift. Thirdly, job displacement is absolutely obsolete and there's no way the workers can find any other job with the current skill set or even upgrading some of the skill sets to the next level. Of course, we can say it's still a mindset shift and they are unwilling to change. But how can we help these workers? How can we help these employees, especially when those whose company are under, undergoing transformation change to a great level?